everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I promised you guys that I was going to refilm the What I Wore in France video because I was a little bit miserable. I was a little hot, I had no AC, I was sweating. It was just, it was just not a cute bit. Roll it. <laughs> and then I realized that in that entire video, I was basically just complaining about how I am a very sweaty woman. And when I say sweaty, I feel like people don't really understand how sweaty I actually am. People in my personal life know that I am not being dramatic, but I feel like you guys might underestimate how sweaty I actually am. No, really. No, really. <laughs> I am the sweatiest person on this planet, I can guarantee you. <laughs> so instead of refilming that video where I'm just complaining and whining about my, my sweaty problems, I thought it would be beneficial for you guys to give you my top five hacks for uh, sweaty people like myself in terms of clothing and what to do about your sweatiness in the hot weather. And we're talking like hot, hot, like peak hot, like maximum humidity, maximum heat, like plus 35 degrees Celsius, you know what I'm saying? So along the, the years of my struggles through my sweat, there are things that I have learned and coping skills that I can pass on to you now, my fellow sweaty people. So here are my top five hacks if you guys wanna know what I do to combat the sweat, the pools, the waterfalls. <laughs> These are a few of the things that I do. Tip, hack, number one. Now I know that a lot of you are really struggling to get on the train, the jorts, the walking short, the long shorts, but if you suffer from chafing, listen, chafing is a real thing. When I'm in the heat and I am walking, I, I can't have my thighs you know, rubbing their niblets together. It causes severe, painful rashes, and the solution to that is to just hop on this jort train, all right? They may not be cute, but they stop the chafing. I have a few of my favorite pairs here that I have been wearing, and they have been helping in the chafing area. First being the jort. The jort here, this is a pair from A. Goldie. We have the Everlane walking short, which seems to be a fan favorite. Really great length here. And another store that I have found that carries amazing long shorts is Oakenfort. These are like the expedition cargo pants of your dreams. They're also made out of a linen material, so they're very, very light. We'll talk on that later. But these ones, a nice light pair. Very sweat wicking, chafing prevention. And here's another dark pair from Oakenfort. So get on the long short trends, y'all. If you suffer from chafing in the heat, this will help you immensely. Tip number two, continuing on the chafing train, I realized that while I enjoyed wearing nice, long, flowy, long, short, short or long, flowy dresses to help with the easy breezy airflow in my sweaty soul, the chafing was horrific in dresses, horrific. It was so painful and I was just weeping and anyway, my solution to that was to get some Spanx. Not necessarily the Spanx brand, but you know, something similar to Spanx. So I have these really incredibly attractive long underwear that I like to wear under the dresses. And I discovered this recently on our trip to France as I was weeping over my bleeding thighs. Get yourself some really unattractive long underwear. Tip number three, I know a lot of you, uh, you know, following up from my beauty hacks video, if you haven't watched it, I'll link it in the description box down below and I'll link it here, wherever the card goes. I don't know which side it is right now. I need an antiperspirant and if you're as sweaty as me, you need an antiperspirant too. With the antiperspirant, I put that between my thighs. It works for a little while, okay? Put it underneath my boobs, I sweat. I don't know why, I don't know what my body was thinking when it decided this, but you know, you just rub it right under there and then you don't get that horrific, really embarrassing line. <laughs> <laughs> a sweat under there and antiperspirant in your armpits and it's just great it works and if you're incredibly sweaty you just need it so antiperspirant top tip tip number four the actual style of clothing that you wear now there are a lot of beautiful like linen pieces and whatnot but the colors can really really show the sweat and I also realized that no matter like listen I pretty much to be comfortable in the heat I need to be as naked as possible so me in a bikini next to a large cold body of water that's the happiest I'm gonna be but I found that even when I wore like little tank tops they were still tight and it still made me sweat even more so first of all switch to loose clothing nice baggy loose clothing gives you a little bit of airflow you know and secondly get a good pattern on the clothing that's actually gonna hide your sweat. One of my favorite pieces uh, is something like this, my little cheetah print skirt here. Doesn't show a damn drip of sweat in this thing. And that was also the case with these two things like this. These types of patterns, sweat is invisible in it. So even if you're pouring in sweat and dying and baking from the heat, you can't tell. This is probably, 
It's probably disgusting. This saw a lot of sweat in Monaco, y'all. <laughs> but get some patterns that hide it because, for example, this shirt, one of my favorite shirts ever from Massimo Dutti. It is uh, a cotton linen blend. It's beautiful, it's loose, it's baggy, it ticks all the boxes, except for the fact that any sweat that would come through on this blue would show. And then you look like a sweaty old man. So that's what I can, I can suggest if you're really packing for a trip or you're wanting to combat the heat and sweat showing in your clothing, get a pattern that will hide it. And my fourth, what? And my fifth and final tip for hot, sweaty, weathered people is to avoid synthetic materials. I don't know if this is the case for everyone. Maybe I have some weird intolerance, but what I have found when I'm wearing things like polyester, acrylic, all those things, for whatever reason, I sweat excessively more when I am wearing those things. I tend to stick to natural fibers like linen and cotton. Those just, the two of them for me personally have worked out the best. So I will always look for a blend of one or two or combination of the two uh, when I am buying my clothing. And that is not including silk. I get it. Silk is a natural thing that does not work for me. Silk and summer and sweat, nay. They are, they are not a good partnership there. So anything linen and cotton, you're pretty much good to go with. And then, you know, move on to the next step, which is the pattern to loose clothing. And it's just a great combination of all of the above. So those are my top five tips, you guys. Hopefully those will help you if you put any of these in place. It'll help you if you are a sweaty, overheating beast like myself in the summertime. And summertime is not your friend when you're trying to be cute and look fashionable. Let me know what you guys think of them in the comments down below. Let me know and any of us other sweaty gals in this world. If you have any other top pro tips for how to deal with the sweat and the heat. I was going to mention makeup, you guys. For those of you who are looking for some makeup and beauty tips, those kind of things, I've done some heat-proof makeup tutorials in the past. I will list a few of those in the description box down below. But to be honest, for me, there, there are levels. There are heat levels and certain levels of temperature and humidity where makeup for me just doesn't work anymore. So it's heat-proof to a certain point. Sweat-proof to a certain point. And then once it goes beyond that point, there's just nothing I can do. And nature is just having its heyday as a river pouring down my face. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!